So, this is the scum rooms folder. This one is called When You Need to Empty Your Thunder Mug. JPEG. And, uh. Oh dear, is this like a screen cap from a video? I kind of want to see whatever video this is because. Because what's going on here? Also, the fair use bear isn't isn't loading in. Hang on. Where's the fair use bear? Where's the bear? God! There you go. Alright. Alright, the bear is the bear is there. The clown is down. Uh let me set that up there. Uh yeah, so what the fuck am I looking at here exactly? This is like I it looks like a screen cap from a video. And I mean we've got it's this is just like quintessential hoarder action we got all these boxes we've got like some kind of pet cage over here for like a gerbil or something there's just like what is this on the floor it's like along the side he just instead of like sweeping up all of his trash he just swept it aside to the corners so there's like a clear thorough walkway here but then the side it's just like fucking cigarette butts and hair and, and who God knows what else. There's like a, there's like a, a, a Pulp Fiction suitcase here. Did this once hold a thermonuclear device? We got some like bananas back here, I guess. Uh, very interesting. The very inter- And then of course we have George Costanza himself in the middle. And I mean, he really dominates the frame, you know? Uh, he's, he's got this like disgusting fucking coffee pot. I mean, look at this fucking thing. This is, I mean, yeah, thundermug.jp. This is, is that what we're calling it? It looks like, I mean, is this a piss, is this a piss pot? Does he have a pot to piss in? Is that what he's holding right here? Because that might be, because, you know, we hear about piss jugs or whatever. And I'm sure we'll see some of those on this stream. But he might have a piss coffee pot here. What happens if you make coffee with piss? N never mind. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me see here. Uh, what do we got? So this is twitchroom.jpg. Oh yeah, this is the one. I think we might watch this video in full. This is the the guy who supposedly hasn't cleaned his room since 2005. And I mean, the great thing about this guy is that like, you know, he's just got pots lying all over the place, but he's also got like a decent setup. He's got, I think the same kind of like Razer keyboard that I have. And he's got, like, a bunch of... Actually, is that keyboard reversed? That's weird. Uh, but he's got, like, a bunch of shit. You know, he's got, like, three monitors or something. And yet he can't be asked to pick up the trash bag box. That's, well, I guess that's... I guess that's to help pick up all the... But, you know, all the rest of this stuff. It's like... I don't know. But it became content for him. You know? It became content. So that's cool. He was able to, uh... He was able to, uh clean his room for like a week or something on stream and people just watched and it became like legendary uh so yeah i mean we might watch some of that i know charlie watched that one you you can probably just check out his his reaction to it if you if you want a a, a different a different dingus pointing at the screen and laughing at the thing you can obviously see which is really what we do here on youtube i mean all of us but yeah uh <laughs> I like his bed, too. I mean, it's just the box spring and, and mattress on the floor. Classic, you know, but it's like, it's like just shoved into the corner and it's all sad. And you know that that mattress hasn't been washed in like many a year, Ma many, a, many a summer has passed. Many a hot, sweaty summer uh, has passed. Uh, and many a season of My Little Pony, probably, or whatever he, he, uh, he gets his jollies to. Uh, this one is called The Mound, JPEG. Oh, yeah. This is like what my, uh, there's a character in my book who has a room that looks, I would say, kind of like this. Uh, yeah, just like a bunch of fucking newspapers. Well, he has the, the character in the book, the newspapers are all stacked neatly. He's very fastidious. He's, he's neat. But he does knock over the newspapers one stack, which, which, uh, sends all of the other newspapers tumbling as well. But, but yeah, this is, we got just all these bags. Of course, there's cigarette butts here. This, I mean, charitably, we might assume that these are like a year's worth of cigarettes. But... Y you know, it could just be, like, a couple months worth of cigarettes. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows how many bags there are? Just this one overflowing bag alone uh, is 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 enough to send my mouth a-watering. We also just have clothes in here. 
There's just like, is this is, is just, just like his wardrobe also? I like the diversity of shit here. It's a good, this is a good picture because like, you know, we've got the cigarette butts over here. We've got these car stat bags. It's like it's in waves. You got all these papers here and then you got all these Coke bottles. And then there's like some clothes here. There's like a computer or something down here. It's a, it's a good like Katamari ball density of trash. And then there's like books up here. I don't know what those are about. It's like his complete encyclopedia or something. Uh, there's a there's a flea market I went to in Toronto that there was a there was a guy selling like a bunch of retro Coke bottles and stuff. Empty, of course. I don't know why people would necessarily. I mean, I like Coke bottles. I'm I'm like a I'm like a Coke you know weird soda connoisseur or whatever. But like I don't know about collecting old, like old Coke bottles. This doesn't look coll like collecting though. This is just this reminded me of it because it also has one of these like old man like knickknack car things. Uh, you know, he's got the auto marked official here. This is like this is probably like, you know, cooking with hoarders. I remember the the going thing with him. I don't know how true this was. But people always said, well, cooking with hoarders, he lives this way. But he's like a lawyer. He's like a high-paid lawyer. And he just lives this way. So maybe this is like that. Maybe this is like, you know, uh, some some racing guy. Some some famous German racist uh, who likes racing. Uh, and that's, that's, this is just how he lives. He really likes Coke bottles, newspapers, cigarettes, and racing. And probably Nazism. Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's see here. What do we got next? What are next? Uh, okay, so we got a twofer here. The The next one is the Lola room. Uh, the Lola... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Lola Bunny. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's a tasteful Lola room, I would say. I mean, it's obvious that this is his cum cave. You know. No... There's no, you know, nobody's being fooled here. This is his cum cave, and he, he jerks it off pretty hard to, to Lola. But, you know, I mean, among cum caves that I've seen, this is like, this has got a lot of mo memorabilia, but this is only part one, because part two is here. Oh, yeah. And, and we get, like, yeah. We got, like, all these, like, Funko pods. It's not just Lola, though. We got ponies, too, of course. You gotta have that. You you know, you're not complete without the ponies. Uh, you've got, like, a light bright or whatever the fuck this is. Uh, uh, does anybody remember Betty Spaghetti? Are there any weirdos on the internet who are into Betty Spaghetti? I, I, I miss Betty Spaghetti. Th th those were the, the halcyon days, man. Um, yeah, so quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of Lola, you know. A lot of Lola in his life. Uh, let's see here. What do we got next? What are next? The King's Couch JPEG. And, uh, this is another one, which... Oh, God. Well, it won't let me zoom in, so that's great. I mean, that's just categorically excellent. Hang on. No, yeah, it really just won't let me zoom in. That's... All right, there you go. So this is the King's Couch. And, uh, you know... Yeah, this... Uh, this is reminding me of Dragon Lord Frodo. Um, you know, he's got the whole desktop PC uh, coffee table combo here. Complete with, like, old monitor, too, like CRT. I'm surprised this desktop, this, this, this table isn't collapsing. He's got, like, a, a printer and just all this shit. I mean, he's got a radiator over there. I, I guess it's, like, you know, maybe he's got, like, uh, a really narrow doorway and he can't possibly buy a shelf. You know? Maybe he's got no hands. Like, I, I have trouble building things, you know? Like, relationships with people, you know? Uh, maybe it's that. Uh, but, you know, like like with a lot of these, you notice that there's, like, just bags of trash. And it's like, I am, I'm amazed that he went to the effort to tra- to, like, bag up the trash. Also, Coke bottles. You know, s take note of, like, recurring themes. Coke bottles and... For some reason, bagged trash, even though, like, why bag it and then just leave it there? That, that's, that's strange to me. That, that is stranger than if he just had all of this trash unbagged. This could be the same guy, though. This might be the same guy. Because this, these do look like similar Coke bottles. I don't know. But, uh, that's, that's, that's quite, quite a lot. That's, that's quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh... 
This is just some gibberish uh, file name. Uh, and, oh yeah, well, this is, uh, this is what we refer to as cursed image, uh, I think, in the, in the biz. Can we open this, please? Can we get a little bit of, come on, can we get a little cri critical thinking here in the, in the chat? Let's open this. Uh, yeah, this is a cursed room. This looks like, uh, this looks like the creepy basement area from Worlds. I don't know if anybody remembers Worlds, but, but yeah, this is this. I don't know who was held captive here. I don't know, because the question is, I mean, was someone held captive here, or did they just choose to live this way? I guess if this is your living arrangement, like, like, I don't know what this situation, what is this? Is this, like, underneath a school? Is this, like, next door to Janet or Jake? I don't know. Uh, but, like, I guess when you live in, like, a crawl space, I guess you might as well <laughs> live like this. <laughs> you know? Your bed- your bedroom area is surrounded by, like, pipes. Y you know, asbestos pipes, most likely. So, you know, I guess there's not really much decorating one can do in this situation. I don't know. You're probably getting attacked by scorpions every night. I think just living is hard enough. You know, we shouldn't be too hard on this guy. Whoever this is. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, this is leading the pack currently. This one's minimalist, because the other ones are like hoarder rooms, right? Like, they're hoarders, but at least they are rooms. At least they're like this, it's like a house. This is like Joseph Fritzl basement. I don't, I don't know. Again, who was held captive here? And what did they get up to on this computer? I, the, the mind, the mind boggles. Uh, truly. Truly. Uh, Jesus Christ. That is currently the worst one. Uh, let's see. Scum. Okay, so there's a dock here I have to look at as well. That's got some more interesting stuff. Uh, oh yeah. This is another one that's like kind of minimalist. It's not as cluttered as some of the ones that we've seen. But in its own way, it's pretty special. Uh, you know, you've got a place here. Unlike the last one. I think you could really do something with this space. I mean, you got this nice, like, purple walls with the black, like, trim or whatever you call that. Like, you could do something nice with this room. Uh, and, and this room over here has got, like, the, the brick and the... And, it, like, this is... This is not, like, the last photo where it was, like, a lost cause. Uh, this is, like... This is, like, the person who lives here is possibly a lost cause. Uh, yeah, I mean, just everything everywhere all at once. You got Pat Cage over here. I don't know why these people own pets. Like, I don't think I'm responsible enough to own a pet. And I don't live like this, you know? So why do these people think that they're willing- that like, oh yeah, I, a dog really wants to live here. A dog really wants to live in this environment. A cat is really, really fixing to live here. There's a little statue here, this little man, also. Uh... I mean, I almost just didn't even mention him. It, like, goes without saying. But I do wonder if perhaps this is, like, some kind of witch's abode and he was, like, a, a cursed traveler who was cast to stone or something. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this little man is doing here. This is, like, a, this is like the Nutcracker Man from Danny Gonzalez videos, but, like, but like different. This could be my little Nutcracker Man. You know, if this guy just fixed this, fixed this place up, this would be an excellent, like, YouTuber backdrop room, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm envious of your room, but I am, uh, I am put off by your living habits. Uh, I guess it looks like they're moving, maybe, because there's, like, boxes. Or they could just live out of these boxes. You know, people, like, live out of suitcases because they're constantly traveling. Maybe this guy, like, moved here five years ago, but, like, ah, uh, you know, it's in the box. My plates are in the box. They're, I know where they are. It's fine. It's fine. They go in the box. People are like, they come over, and I bring a woman over, and she's like, why do you have all these boxes all over the place? Why don't you put stuff in a, in a shelf? And I'm like, hey, I know where the boxes are. I have a system. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, so, yeah, that's this place. He's got the fancy, fancy wine glasses, too, and, like, a nice, like, antique little table here. And then there's just, like, a bottle of Coke over here as well. <laughs> you gotta have your obligatory Coke bottle in all of these pictures. Uh, let's see. What do we got next? Uh, this is called RateMyGamingRig.jpg, and 
I don't know if this is something that somebody sent over uh, on the Discord. This is certainly one of the less offensive ones so far. I'm not even sure why this is here. I mean, it's not... It's not, uh... I don't know. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not great. It's pretty cluttered, but like... Cre I I was expecting to see his, his, like, browser up here and see, like, like... I don't know, where to, a tab that's like, where to find dogs to adopt, another tab that's like, is it okay to have sex with dogs, another tab that's like, uh, how to perform a hot cause beat, like something, you know, the classic, the classic funny tabs, but we don't even have that. Oh yeah, I guess the, 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 the yeah, oh wow, actually now I'm looking at this, what the fuck is this? Because <laughs> now I'm like looking at it and I'm like, wait, they've got this keyboard here. But then you've got this. This is like a fucked up bottom of a laptop. I guess this is like the actual computer. And then maybe this is like a separate monitor that he has because the whole like computer is destroyed. This computer, I don't know what happened to this. Mario hit it with his head a few times. Like, I don't know if this was used as a frisbee or what. I wonder if it could stream better than my, my laptop though. Uh, but yeah, this is interesting. A three-piece laptop. I, I looked at this and I was like, oh, this is just a normal computer at first. And then and then I looked a little closer. We've also got a cage over here. I mean, it's not really, but it, it kind of looks like a weird like space cage or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I get, I, it's, it's bad that this is still one of the better, more respectable things we've looked at so far. Uh... It's, it's, it's not, we're not, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, I rate your gaming rig a 1 out of 10. Uh, this one's called powderroom.jpg, or .png. And, oh yeah, yeah. Now this looks like a joke, probably. I'm assuming this was done as some kind of a joke, but I, I personally like having to, no, see, okay. You can see there's like a hatch. There's like a lost style hatch. Uh, to get down into the basement here, but like, why is there, um, uh, why is there a toilet though? I mean, just here. I guess this is probably like a very small place, but why is there a toilet though? I mean, and is this also like a combination toilet shower? Cause it looks like there's a towel and like shower tiles and stuff. This might be a toilet shower or something, but then you've got this hatch. And personally, I would just leave the hatch up all the time. I would I would do platforming to get to the to the toilet. I didn't see the hatch at first. I thought that wasn't I thought it was just a a, a hole in the ground and you had to jump over to get to the toilet. I like that more. I want to do that. But uh I mean, the thing is this looks like a joke, but I mean, it's not a joke. Obviously, this was built. This is a house that was built. It's just like who the fuck built this? Was this a mistake? What happened here? Was this supposed to be like this? I'm- I'm certain that it was not supposed to be like this. Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, nice plant in the corner, too, you know? You gotta keep it- gotta keep it looking nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one is pinkparadise.jpg. Oh, dear. I should say, by the way, we're gonna do, um... We're going to do videos after we do the pictures, so... Currently, we're just looking at these pictures, but there is a selection of videos as well. And we'll get to that. Uh, this is Pink Paradise. And yeah, I mean, there's our man. And he's enjoying his, uh, what seems to be some kind of, like, Sims meal of, like, just vague food-colored mash or whatever. Uh, I don't know what all of these things are. I mean, there's the Hello Kitties. Surprisingly, I'm not seeing ponies. I don't know what these horrid things are back here. These are terrifying. They, why do they have such frightening eyes? This guy's got like, I think those are fuzzy slippers he's got on. That's nice. That's respectable. He does look like someone you would assume to live, you know, would live in a place like this. I mean, uh, other than a, you know, seven-year-old girl. Uh, he, he does, he, you know, it's it's like seven-year-old girls and this guy would both live in this, this kind of room. Or someone, like, six times his size. This exact same guy in this exact same room, but just, like, Photoshop, like, morph his body to be, like, wide. Like that, I could also imagine somebody that size, but no, someone shrimpy like him, you know, yeah. Yeah, I love that he's got, like, the breakfast in bed tray, which doesn't even look like that's what it is. It looks like it might be, like, a 
photo, a picture frame or something. But he's got something as a tray here because he can't be asked to, to, to sit at a table. He's going to be a RimWorld colonist who ate without table. Minus three. Um, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I, I like his steez. You know, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of the, I'm jealous of the style. Um, next up, we got uh, this, this picture, which doesn't have a proper name. But this is what I'm envious of. I am envious of this picture. I would like to have this as my gaming setup as well. Uh, because as you can see, well, first of all, we've got a very nice cat here, but, you know, besides the cat here, as you can see, this is like a hospital, this is like a makeshift hospital bed gaming rig, uh, sort of thing. I mean, there's even like an EKG shit over here. I think that's what that is. But yeah, wow, this is some shit. This is some shit. Someone really made this, huh? Uh, wow. This is one of those ones where it's like, if someone put this together as a joke, I think that's worse. You know, maybe you're, like, disabled and you have to have your fucking computer be like this, but... But if you just made this to be like, haha, guys, look at what I did, isn't this funny? Like, no, you probably got something wrong with you. Uh, as it stands, though, this probably... They probably also have something wrong with them. I mean, what... What even is this thing with the keyboard? Is this, like, a, an easel for a toddler or, or something? And this bed, I mean, what... Is, this isn't a hospital bed, but it's, like, set up to be like one. Why does he have, like, a lowrider bed frame with hydraulics? And what is this thing? This bar? What is, the, what is this thing? It's, like, made out of PVC pipe. What, what the fuck? What kind of jabroni sex machine is this? There's, like, straps? Is this how you enter the Oasis? What the fuck? Is this the metaverse? Is this, is this virtual reality, everybody? I, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. And disoriented, but you know that's that that's that picture. Uh, followed swiftly along by uh, this picture. Oh yeah, we got another one here where it's like you know don't even bother trying to decorate. We got another one here. Of course, it's also a basement. You know, it's it's also a basement. Uh, people make jokes about the basement dwellers or whatever. I can't imagine this is. I mean, people. Nobody lives here, right? I mean, I guess they do, because this keyboard, this mouse... The desk area looks relatively clean. The bed looks like someone sleeps in it. Yeah, it's just that there's, like... What is this? Are these, like, cobwebs? All over? There's, like, a lamp that's, like, hanging precariously. And there's just, like, DVDs over here. He's got ratatoying ready to go. Uh, but, yeah, he's just got all his shit down here to step on when he gets out of bed in the morning. But it looks like there's just cobwebs over this whole thing, or maybe it's like plastic sheeting or like a tarp. Whatever it is, it doesn't, I guess it is. It's like a plastic, it's like a black tarp kind of thing. But whatever it is, it's not, it does not look good or anything approaching good. I guess, again, there's no way you can salvage this. So you might as well just, if you live like this, I think you finally have an excuse for piss jugs. You know? I think we can finally agree on, like, you know, this is fine. Piss jugs. You can live, like, you could... If you live like this, piss jugs are acceptable. You know? I would expect nothing less, honestly. If you if you didn't do, like, piss jugs and cum socks all over, like, I feel, I feel like I would be betrayed by you as a friend. If I knew you, and then I knew, and then I found out that you lived here but you didn't have like a pony cum jar i would be i would feel betrayed by you as a friend also these uh these these sheets kind of make this look like a sonic bed it's probably not but you got like the red and the white and the blue so i guess it could be america i don't know but uh could be france i don't know uh let me see this one's just called mybedroom.jpg and oh yeah that's the good beans right here this is what we like to see this is what we like to see. Uh, this is a country where recycling is not a concept, I guess, because there's just no way to get rid of all these bottles and cans. This is a man who doesn't need a sheet on his bed because, you know, he's got his clothes. He doesn't need a sheet. He he doesn't. He wears clothes and has clothes on the bed, so he doesn't touch the, the, the scummy mattress ever. But it is also very stained with all of this liquid that's all over. Uh, and just there's, like, cardboard here. I mean... I mean, 
I don't know, there's like lazy, but but then there's like... I don't know, it seems like it would be harder to live like this at a certain point. Is this a microwave back here, just on the floor? Oh man, I don't know. I don't- I- I can't guess at what his situation is. Maybe this is a situation where, like, he can't throw all of this stuff out. Again, maybe he's being held captive. We got pizza box over here. Uh, some frozen meals and stuff. I assume that if he's got, like, Stouffer's frozen meals over here, then that- and a microwave, it looks like. And that means we're not seeing everything. There's probably a full fucking spectrum of shit behind him. And, like, a Pamper True radar range microwave or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've even got the key- The mouse is not gonna, like, do well if it's just on the mattress. So that's not gonna be good for your gaming sessions. Is that, like, a Beats by Dre pill or something? Like, one of those Bluetooth pill things? I don't know. Uh, but, but yeah, the keyboard is, like, being propped up on, uh, a v virtually a shelf of scum. Just a full shelf of scum. Um... Wow. Yeah, I mean, these are- these are- This is one, too, where it's like, this room is not bad. If you got rid of all of this, this would be a perfectly average room. Uh, this is- this is- There, there really are categories of shitty rooms here, where it's like, some of them- you, For whatever reason, you are living in the space that, uh, the- the fucking t t gym teacher from that one episode of Seinfeld who gave George the wedgie. You're living in the place where he wound up living, under the library stairs or whatever. Like, okay, fine. You can't just hang up a fucking picture of dogs playing poker and fix that. But, like, this is just an apartment? There's no excuse for this. This is just a place people live normally. The next suite over is probably, like, a single mother with, like, a perfectly fine apartment. But, and then this, and then there's just this. And what is this? This is American, too. This one's specifically American, because I can see, like, great value. There's hungry Howies. Uh, not a lot of Coke bottles. A lot of beer. A lot of beer. Coors Light, so he's got bad taste. I guess he could be Canadian. Coors Light. Isn't that, isn't that Canadian? No, that's Molson, I think. Or Labatt, or one of those bad ones. He's got Bud, also. So this guy's just got really bad taste in beer, too. Who's gonna buy other flavors? Like, other... Other beer, and then be like, you know what, I'm gonna buy one single bottle of Bud. And there's some cans, too. There's a couple Bud Light cans. Who's- who is double dipping with Bud? I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty weird to me, but, uh... Let me see here. What are next? Uh, we got... My Empire of Dirt! Uh, yeah, well, I mean... This is, uh... This looks like some kind of... Th this looks like some kind of serial killer room, like a guy who makes creepy do lifelike dolls of people. Um, you can see he's over here fast at work on the, on the bench. He's, 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 making, he's making stuff. He's got all these CDs here. I assume he's into burning Dreamcast games like me. Uh, he's got a, pl a plushie over here. You know, a lot of assorted stuff. This is one where it's a real jumble. I mean... <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the song from RimWorld that just- that is just plagiarized from Pink Floyd. I like- I like this one. This is a real jumble room. Some of the other ones we've seen have been, like, focused, you know? Bunch of cigarette butts, bunch of Coke bottles, bunch of newspapers, you know, and not much else. But this is, like, everything. We got discs. It's a- it's a lot of tech. We can- we can narrow it down to tech. There's, like, old computers and, like, a VHS tape. There are CDs here, a lot of wires, and like a headphone, a lot of associate, uh, assorted tech. And I mean, I get it, you know, as someone who has a lot of assorted fucking tech, there are sometimes uh, more wires and things than you have drawers for. But I don't know, man, maybe if you moved like 1% of this stuff, you might have room for a drawer, you know? I, I don't know, but uh... But yeah, this is, this is, I, I do like that we, I, I like any one where we get to see the, the creature in their natural habitat, you know, you can see him all hunched over here, he's probably working AutoCAD or something. I don't know, what do we think his job is? I see this guy and I imagine, again, Seinfeld reference, but that episode of Seinfeld where, uh, the, the guy gets, like, like, really into a lane with the TV guides, and he starts cutting her, like, a bouquet of TV guide roses, and, and, and you, you see him in his little workshop, and he's just like, This is for you, Elaine! And, and that's what I get out of this image. Th this is what this guy reminds me of. Um, so I hope he's not doing that. Uh, 
this guy in chat keeps sp spamming about fridge bro. I I would like you to assume at this point that uh, spamming my chat with demands about like some guy you want me to talk about uh, is not going to work, and I will probably just never talk about that person out of spite. Uh, more than more likely than anything. Uh, I might still look into this person, maybe. Maybe they're in here, somewhere. But, uh, yeah. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Uh, there's, there's your warning. Uh, we're gonna move along from that one. Uh, again, that one was my empire of dirt, uh, JPEG. Uh, this one here has a gibberish file name, but this one's- a, oh, this is a good one. See, I like these ones that are minimalist, you know? And they really get you wondering, because the other ones, it's like, oh, this is just a, a dump. You just have major problems. But, I mean, this, this is like, you know, this is piss jugs, I think. I'm pretty sure these are piss jugs. Like I said, I was pretty sure we were going to get to piss jugs. It looks like they're bloated, too. I mean, those are some very bloated jugs. Like, you can see this, this... This Coke bottle here has got, like, some slender Coke bottle shape to it. But this one is, like, kind of, like, distended. Like, the the, the piss is, like, like you know, like, uh, d deforming the shape of the bottle. Kind of like when uh, Sir Strumming, you know, the, two, the, the can gets all fucking bloated or whatever. And, yeah, it's a very contained trash zone. I don't know what this is about, really. I mean, we've got this whole empty room where there's just a table in the middle... And then just one square foot. This is like in a video game, like in The Sims, where there's like one square in a room that has, like, needs to be cleaned. Y your room is like an 8x8 eight eight grid of squares, and there's one square that is, like, like, dirty. And that's what this room is. One square has got a bunch of trash, and then the rest of this room is just other shit. I guess there's some trash here, too, but, like... Yeah, there's also just this laptop, and then there's this. I mean, there's just whatever whatever demon lives back here in this room that's been sealed off. Is that is this Vinny's centipede room? I don't know, but we got Papa John's and 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 McDonald's, that disgusting slop that gives you gas. Again, these are like battle stations. This is they they always seem to have some level of like computer. It's it's rare. I mean, there are some that don't, but it, most a lot of them are like. This is where I work, everybody. This is where I am communicating to you from. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. We got the we got the piss bottles. I mean, it, this would be a room that looks okay. This I like the dark carpeting and the the, the walls. It kind of looks like a like a cool office building or something. But but like yeah, not with the piss jugs and and whatnot. Uh, and not with whatever demon is back here. Do I need all 120 stars to unlock this door? What's back here? I needed to I need to know what's back here. Can somebody, like, T-1000 liquid form under the crack there and find out? Because I need to know. I need to know if there's, like, an SCP or something. Or maybe just a DSP. Maybe he's back there. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um. Let's see. Um. This one is monsterroom.jpg. And I mean, this one's not so bad. This is a fine room, because this is what it says on the tin. This is a monster room. This is a room of, like, monster shit. And I think this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really into, like, you know, weird giant bunny rabbit monster, or whatever this is. I, are these, like, movie props? I don't know. I am not really into this as a, as a, as a hobby, but, you know, I can respect the craftsmanship here. This shit looks cool. You have this, this, like, ancient, like, haunted house chair just being, like, grabbed by the monkey man here from the swamp. Uh, and there's, like, a half-decayed person. This is great! This is great! This is, like, the best spirit Halloween ever. I actually like this room. Uh, this isn't, like, a mess. That's just a, a room where it's designed to look like shit, you know? And that's fine. Uh, Messy.jpg. Uh, yeah, just a little bit messy, you know. This is a classic one. This is just a, a standard classic mess room, you know. Nothing too special about it. It looks like it's not American. I don't know what Ebios is here. Oh, is this Japan? This is Japan, yeah. We got, like, hentai mags. We got Pansuchan down here. Oh, there's, like, titty models. Don't look at that, Susan. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry. It's just some PVC or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, we've got just, like, all this, like... I don't know what this is. This is, like, soil? Is this, like, 
fucking miracle grow? What is this? Why is there soil in your room? And there's just this, which is like, I don't know. I, is that like a mini fridge? Of course, he's got his, his cum tissues. Uh, I, I do like this ancient laptop. You, you, the 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 ancientness of a lot of these images really lends to their 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 wonderfulness. Uh, the fact that he's got whatever this is is this like a scanner or a printer? Uh, you know that's great. It's like it's like we really need to be synergized for business solutions here in this cum cave. Uh, very very cool. Uh, very cool. Uh, I do like the Japanese hikikomori rooms. Those are. Those are always uh, a real treat. Uh, this one is messy.jpg, but it's messy with an IE instead of a Y. Uh, messy. Uh, and this one seems to be like, I guess, getting worked on. There's probably construction here. Like, I'm assuming whoever this guy is. Or no, maybe not. I don't know who this guy He looks like some kind of construction guy, maybe, but. But I don't know. Uh, he might just live here. The, you got pasta roni down here, first of all. Uh, uh, yeah, just a mountain of... I mean, how do you... It's an obvious question, but how do you let your life get to this point? I don't understand. I mean, I mean, this is your kitchen. This is not your... I could understand having, like, a scummy closet, you know? Because it's a closet. You can just close the door on that. You're never going in there if you don't need to, you know? You don't need to go in your closet. So, it, whatever. It's just some space to store some boxes or whatever. Fine. Fine. You want to do that? That's fine. But this is your kitchen. This is a main thoroughfare of the house. Uh, are there two fridges here? There's a second fridge! There's a fridge over here, and this is a second fridge. What the fuck? Or maybe that's like a weird like stove. I don't know, but but yeah, like I don't know. I don't I don't know. Maybe this is like maybe this is like a, a squatter house or something. Maybe this is like a crack den. Maybe nobody uses this fucking kitchen. I mean, I guess that would have to. I guess you can't use this fucking kitchen, but but yeah, this is like a bomb went off. <laughs> this is like houses after the hurricane that's currently happening uh, are going to look. Jesus Christ. Uh, that was. That was, uh, I mean, that's just your classic, like, fucking nightmare room, you know? Like, what do you, where do you even start with that? I guess at the top, because you'll have a, you'll have a fucking avalanche if you start near the bottom. Uh, this one is kitchen.jpg. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a good kitchen here. Now, I wonder if anybody's ever gotten any food poisoning here, you know? Maybe some kind of, like, you know, anal worms or whatever, or something. It, I don't know, this doesn't look like a, a particularly sanitary place to, to, to cook. How do people let their kitchens get like this? Again, it's a kitchen. You're in here, like, probably at least once a day, I would assume. You know, for, for at least, like, a minute. Don't you want it to be, like, a place you can walk? I, I don't know. These are like, uh, these are like, again, if you're like in a video game and you've just got like a, a trait that makes it like, this, this, this character doesn't give a shit about his environment and will be happy to live in the darkness and filth. Like, I guess that's just what this person is. They just straight up don't care. And it's like, whatever. Ah, uh, there's rats now. Eh, fine. That's fine. They need a place to live too, don't they? That's fine. You know, like that. Just a complete complacence. Um, this is great. This I want to use this as like an album cover. This is wonderful. It's even the right, it's the right shape and everything. It's, it's wonderful that it just shot into somebody's life here. This looks like Russia or something too. This is this is like commie block plumbing over here. That's what this looks like. This is like Czechoslovakian stove, like some shit that would blow your fucking Alpine shack to pieces. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, this one is image underscore whatever. Oh, this is a classic! I love this one! I think I- I thought I had this in my pre-stream picks, but I don't think I do anymore or something. I don't know what happened, but this is a great image. This is an absolute classic, categorically. I think basically, uh, this guy was in jail and, like, the prison guards weren't- Like, they surprised him and he wasn't able to hide this shit that he made fast enough, I guess. I think that's what it is. 
And this dude is just like a prison dude who really likes making weird, creepy mermaid dolls. And not not, not always mermaids. Uh, the fact that they have, like, no face is... I, uh, genuinely disturbing. You know, just no face at all. Um, that's... Yeah, I don't know how you hide all of this, though. You're in jail. I mean, there's shit on your shelf here. I, I don't know. Also, he's in, like... I don't know what... I don't know... I guess this is, like, his prison jumpsuit or whatever, but he looks like he's in some kind of, like, penguin... You know, those fucking, like, uh... Those... What are they called? Kigurumis? He looks like he's in prison wearing a Kigurumi. Which I guess would fit with the rest of this image. But is this, like... What is this shelf behind him, even? What is, what is this? It looks like a bunk bed or something, but there's, like, not beds on it. And this is, like, I think this is his bed, probably. So, what is the shelf? Why does he just have a big shelf for, like, uh... For, for, for doing this, I guess. I mean, what else are you gonna do if you're in jail? I mean, you might as well start making creepy female dolls. Yeah, honestly. I mean, you might, you might as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a great image. A lot of these are going to wind up in the, uh, the pre-stream. Uh, you're going to see these images in the future. <laughs> On future pre-stream slideshows, you, you will, you will, you will know these by their, by their scum. Uh, this one is called HelloKitten.jpg. Oh yeah, look at this fucking, look at this salamander of sex right here. Look at, he looks like Pamperchu, actually. I mean... He's probably got some level of self-awareness because, like, you know, obviously he's, like, posing, trying to look all sexy in this absolute catastrophe fuck zone. There's something here called a long life. I thought that said lung life. We got Tang over here. Uh, some lighters, Pepsi bottle, Evian, you know, of course, cursory McDonald's. Uh, no computer. I'm not seeing a computer. No battle station here. That's a shame. That's a shame. But we do have bugles, so that makes up for it. Um, yeah, I mean, to some level, I think you could maybe say that this is like, oh, uh, he's probably some somewhat self-aware. He's like posing in this thing, you know, this 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 like kind of hey hey like again, hello kitten dot jpeg. He's he's like trying to play this up, but I mean, your room still looks like this. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know who you're. I don't know who the joke is really on, uh, but. But yeah, he does look like Pamperchu. That's adding to the. That's adding to this. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll close a couple of those there. Um, uh, this is the highly anticipated Fuzo's bedroom. JPEG, and uh, I don't think this is Fuzo's bedroom, but I have. A f I think I might know whose bedroom this is actually. Uh, I mean, aside. Aside from the obvious thing in this picture, which is the, you know, beautiful lady, uh, on his bed, uh, I think this is DJ Orwell's room, because he had that, that scummy Halo 4 poster when he did that white privilege, male privilege, when he did that video, like, you can see his room, and I think he had the Halo 4 poster, so this might be DJ Orwell. Are these maggots all over his room? I would assume that's probably what this is, or maybe it's like rice or something. Uh, chip crumbs, possibly. There is just a fucking hole in the wall here, which I guess maybe, maybe this is where Lois came in from, like, like the Kool-Aid man or something. Uh, I guess he's also like smashed holes in his walls here. Maybe he gets really mad at his video game, you know, he didn't save Morrowind in seven hours and he get, got one-shotted by a Kagooty or something, you know. Something like that, I don't know, uh, but, but yeah, uh, I think, I don't know if we can confirm if this is DJ Orwell. Peter! Uh, that looks like when you break a wall in Siege. That's a big hole! <laughs> yeah, that's, t t t glory hole, more like golly hole. Um, oh god, knowing golly baby, I shouldn't have said that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's Fuzo's bedroom, everybody. Subscribe to Fuzo TV today, or Fuzo YouTube, sorry. Uh, so here we have this image, which this is another one of these. Now, I'm not sure if this is Japan. This could be a Japanese guy. Uh, I'm probably not because we've got a Rick and Morty like vape device or whatever this is over here. Yeah, no, this is this is an American. This is just a weeaboo. But he is he appears to be a weeaboo that's living inside like a thermo a thermos bag, like a like a DoorDash heated bag, one of those things. Um, 
I, I don't know. Uh, what What is this man's living situation? Jesus Christ. Why is he in this, like, duffel bag? Why does he live inside of a giant sack? I, I don't understand. We've got a backpack of ramen soup. Uh, which, I mean... Uh, okay. It's a very small backpack. I don't know what you're putting in there. I mean, as a grown adult who's not, like, a child going to school, I don't know what you would need a backpack that small for. But, uh, you know, I guess they didn't make the ramen, the ramen noodle soup, uh, uh, backpacks in a bigger size, and he needed that. There's also just a severe fire risk here. I mean, I guess that's what the insulated fucking padding walls or whatever, I guess that's what this is for. Uh, so that if, you know, it's, if this, if this goes massively up in flames, you know, two, two inches from his head, don't worry, because... These fucking fire retardant walls are going to... Oh no, I'm cancelled. I said fire retardant. They're, they're gonna stop it. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's another, like, understated image. Not too much clutter, it's just poor life decisions. Not necessarily filth. Just poor life decisions. Um, what was that one? Uh, uh, what are we on? E16, that's this image, and oh my god, oh dear, this is a, this is a decidedly cursed one, chat, uh, this is a decidedly fucking cursed image, holy shit, we have elderly dead grandma, I don't know if this woman is alive, but she looks like she's been cut in half, because you can only see one leg, she looks like she's sinking, this is the, the is this the deathbed that eats people? I don't know, but don't worry, because whenever her soul gets taken, it's go we know where it's going, because she has got all of the antennas to Jesus that she possibly can. This woman's- all of her prayers are being heard. All of her prayers are getting the loudest fucking clarity. God has to turn her down. Like, oh god, Betsy's at it again, and she's got the fucking 58G signal to heaven with all these fucking crucifixes. And just Jesus's... I don't know. I, I don't know. Is it not a little strange to live in a place that's like this? That's just covered in Jesus's? Is it not a little strange to wake up and you're just... You've got 15 different Jesus's killing themselves for your sins? Like... I don't know. I don't know. That seems like a, a harmful mindset, probably, to live with. But, you know, she seems to have lived with it for a very long life, so who am I to say, really? Uh, so I've mentioned that uh, I'm a fan of when you can see the individual in their natural habitat. And you can definitely see that here. I would like to introduce you to the next champion of the fighting game community. Uh, it's Underpants Man, everybody. It's Underpants Man. It's Dump Truck Danny, everybody. Uh, we've got, like, a manga over here. We've got the Def Jam Fight for New York video game or whatever. I think that's what that is on the Xbox. And yeah, he's got this rad fucking be fighting game controller. He's got a Sierra Mist, which is great, because I've never tried that. I've always wanted to try it, you know? I don't think they make that anymore, do they? I don't, I don't think they have it in Canada. But man, he, he I hope he enjoys his Sierra Mist. And he's got his fighting game. I just don't understand why, I mean, you know, maybe it's the fashion. You know, maybe this is just an extension of, like, the wearing your pants really low thing. And maybe that's why. But, like, I don't know why his pants are this low. I don't know uh, why they need to be this low. Uh, is he aware that they're this low? Is he in a fighting game coma at this point? Does he know how he looks currently? Probably, because he's being photographed, so he, they probably staged this to some extent. But, I mean, even with his pants pulled up, this is still a lovely room to to behold, you know? I, I just can't believe we're getting to see this photo of, of Wooly in college, you know? It's it's so it's so great. Um, so, let's see. This one's called Classic, and yeah, it's the classic. This is the classic. If you know scummy rooms on the internet, you know this one. You fucking know this room. The framed photo of Iwata. The GameCube controller with the slim, modest, humble selection of 
mostly first party games i could see luigi's mansion it looks like paper mario and and sunshine there's probably smash in there if i had to bet it's probably kirby's air ride or something but then we've got rare sucks over here and uh you know you got these jugs which are not currently filled with piss but they may soon be uh he's got that platinum gamecube by the way but with a purple controller so he's really he's really mixing and matching which i can appreciate he's got the he, he recently enjoyed a chicken pot pie, uh, which I think we can all we can all agree is a, is a very good form of pot pie. A good way of delivering food to your to your system is the chicken pot pie. I, I don't think we can get too down on him for for the pot pie, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This is another one where it's like this is this is literally like a three by three square basement of like cinder blocks and pipes and i just don't know who is subjecting someone to live here if you're paying rent at this place you shouldn't be if you're if this is like your parents house and they're like well okay johnny you can live here but you have to pay rent and and it's like you're living here yeah no you should you shouldn't be doing that uh you should probably you should probably just not be living here uh overall uh, I do like the subtle, the fact that there's garbage bags back here, you know? And, and I mean, the room isn't a huge mess. There, it's, it is organized fairly. Fairly. I mean, you got the chicken pot pie here. We don't know how he cooked it. I don't know why the box is here, but presumably the microwave is not in frame, so it's probably somewhere else. So I don't know why the box is here. That's weird. But, you know, we do have this area of the jugs, the soon-to-be piss jugs. Actually, it looks like they are filled with water, so th that's just regular water jugs. Uh, or it's like piss turned into water, one of those situations. That could be. I, I just want everything to be piss now. But but, uh, but yeah, you know, this is all just organized into this little, like, like cage. And then you've got this, like, trough for his pigs to eat out of. Or maybe him. I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, there's just a garbage bag box here. And, and yeah, there's, there is no... I mean, this looks like he just ate, so I can't fault him for having a bit of a mess here. But there's no, like, 15 cans just littered around here. This is relatively a clean image compared to what we've seen. This is surprisingly one of the less fucked up things we've seen so far, actually. Uh... <laughs> Two bucks from Fuzo. V. Video games. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh... Yeah, that is the classic. That is, that is the, the classic scummy gamer room <laughs> or scummy nintendrone room if you prefer uh this one's called birdcage.gif i don't know why this is a gif because it is just a a regular old static image but uh it is a giant evil scary cat peering at you i guess this is Oh yeah, I guess this is like a cage. Like the the walls are decorated to look like a cage, and like we're birds inside of a cage. Okay, this is some fucking artsy bullshit. I see, I see. Well, you know, if somebody can make like a big hamster wheel for me to run on, I would I would live in a big hamster, a fake hamster cage room, because like a hamster wheel, I think that would be fun. I don't know if anybody else has ever looked at a hamster in the wheel and just been like, that looks awesome. I mean, treadmills are fine, but I want I want like a Sonic the Hedgehog exercise wheel, you know? I, I want to be able to run in my fucking exercise wheel and go so fast that I do a loop-de-loop. -loop. And I can't do that with a, with a treadmill. So, you know, uh, but, but as for this room, I mean, this isn't really a messy or scummy room. This is just kind of some artist decided to be cute. And I mean, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I, I wouldn't want this in my house, uh, but, you know, I'm sure whoever lives here is happy with it, I, I guess. Uh, very, uh, very artsy. It's like a movie that's nothing but Dutch angles. It's like, alright, I don't think we need this exactly. Uh, this is, uh, bathroom, oh dear, bathroom 1231. And, yeah, I am a fan of these just questionable archaeological, or, or not archae architectural decisions. Uh, you know, obviously there was that classic, uh, yeah, that, that classic video. I think it was, uh, I think JXE originally found that place, didn't he? The, uh, the scummy house that was like originally a church or something. This is similar to that, where you've got this bathroom, pink tub, 
Uh, it looks like it's being worked on, because we've got, like, sand in the sink here. But we've got this toilet, which is like a weird diamond shape. Uh, we've got all of this happening. Uh, up here. I don't know, this is a... This is a ceiling to be held. But then you've got this, like, mirror in the bathtub. Which is... I don't know about that. I mean, in my place in Toronto, my bathtub is, like, right across from the sink. Uh, and the mirror. So when I when I stand in the in the bathtub, I I can see myself in the mirror. But it's not like it's right on the bath the bathroom wall. That doesn't even seem like it would be useful, because it would get so foggy. It would get so steamed up immediately. What what's the point of this? I mean I mean what's the fucking point of this? I guess it's just so that you can, while you're brushing your teeth in front of this mirror at this sink, you can like look at yourself infinitely forever from this mirror. I guess, but I mean, I don't know. And then you've got this, like, closet here, which I don't know. Again, this looks like they're probably renovating it or something, but it's one of these places where it's like, why did why was this built this way in the first place? I can see you're trying to fix whatever's wrong with it now, but there's no fix in it at a certain, at a certain point. Uh, there's no fix in, you know, diamond toilet. I guess there is. You can get rid of the toilet, but still... Uh, this one's just called Bad, and... I mean, it's bad, but it's not the worst we've seen. It's not the worst we've seen. This is just kind of your average, slightly messy room. I'm not gonna... <clears throat> I'm not gonna hold it against this one too much. Because, I mean, you got some organization here. This doesn't... E I mean, this isn't even a room, for one thing. You can see that this is like a half wall with a TV facing the other way, so I don't know if this is like sort of a barracks dormitory thing where there, there's like a another person's little cubby space on the other side but this looks like it's for kids i mean we got the pikachu we got all this like you know unicorns and there's this like tiny tiny little finding nemo bed i i can't imagine a grown-up lives here right uh I don't know. This looks like it's for kids. There's like tiny kids shoes here. Maybe Marco Diaz lives here. I don't know. But but why does somebody have their kid living in like a fucking cubby off to the side? Should, that's bad. You, uh, you know, if people are, if people have ever had like child services called on them, maybe it should be for, for this, for having your fucking child just like sleeping in a little crawl space behind the TV. I mean, I don't know, we're saying child, it looks like a child, but this, I mean... It looked like the pink bedroom with the shrimpy little man was also run, was also owned by a child. And, uh, that was a fully grown man, so, I mean, we might be just being too generous by assuming that this is a child. Uh, I like this little, like, blowjob knee pillow here. I don't know what this pillow is for. Uh, but, yeah, hmm. Strange area. Not not into this not into this one. This one gives me a weird feeling. I'm not I don't know. Cuz if it's a grown-up, I don't like the fact that they're sleeping in like a little kid's bed. But if it's a kid, I don't like the fact that they appear to be sleeping in some kind of common room. Uh, I don't know. So whoever whoever submitted that one, you need to be asked. You need to be asked where you got that picture and who those who that person is. Dear 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 lord. Uh Let's see. That is bad, dot JPEG. You know what? That is bad. Uh, d this is a bunch of numbers, dot JPEG. And, well, this isn't. Uh, this is kind of shitty. I mean, this is an organized shitty. This is like... I mean, this is like, you can clearly there's a lot of Warhammer and stuff, miniatures and whatnot. It's organized, though. It's got, there's shelves, there's a huge TV here. You got your Fury Road. Uh, but you do have a like a boss clock, so and a baby Yoda down here, so yeah, I do hope you get hit by a car. But you know, other than that, um, I, I don't know. Is this like a packet of cheese and crackers or something? I don't know what that is. Yeah, this isn't bad. I don't know why this was even submitted. This is just fine. I mean, it's a little messy, but whatever. If we're gonna start judging people's rooms for being that level of messy, then I mean, I think we're all on the chopping block here. That's that's fine. That's probably better than most people in chat. <laughs> most of our rooms don't look that nice. Um, 
Uh, more numbers. JP. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. That that I don't know who submitted that last room. You should be ashamed of yourself. That last room was nothing to fuck with. But this room, this is a power level. This is a challenge to anybody out there who can make their room a bigger beer den than this. I just don't understand. I mean, I mean, it can't be that hard to. Like, here's the thing, right? Your room is so cluttered that it's obvious you can walk through it, right? There's no way this guy's, like, disabled. There's no way he's got, like, a wheelchair. So that's not the excuse. He has to, like, step around all of these bottles and shit to get to this fucking computer. So that is not the excuse. That can't be the excuse. That is not the excuse. Uh, this is just a guy who's just really lazy, and I just don't understand. I mean... It's n it's just not that hard to recycle some cardboard boxes, man. Like, not even the bottles. Leave these bottles. That's fine. Leave the cans. Whatever. Just get rid of the boxes. But I guess he doesn't want to because he's got this whole stack of boxes back here. He's, he's like, building... Maybe this room is, like, three times the size of what we're seeing here, and he's built it into, like, a little, like, cubicle maze of, of old Milwaukee boxes. I don't know, but, like, I don't know what it... We were noticing Coke bottles originally, but I, it, by far the the more apparent theme is is uh, a ton of fucking beer boxes and bottles of beer and cans of beer, and like, I guess that makes sense to some extent. I guess that tracks. Uh, I guess is this like a dorm room? Maybe I I don't know, but uh, that's that's great. That's that's excellent. I, I like the stack of computers back there, too. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. Um, got a video there, but we'll get to the videos in a little bit. Uh, this one is... Fine. I think this is... Well, no, it's not fine. This is one that I think pe someone submitted, like, specifically, because it's got a file name, which is, like... Uh... 2022-09-16, so they probably were like, oh, shitty rooms, huh? Well, I've got a disgusting bedroom, and they just dis oh god, oh god, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, too close, too close. Uh, and yeah, they just decided to do this. Why do we have so much card stock? And there's just clothes everywhere, I mean, you've clearly got a dresser here. I don't know why, I don't know how overflowing your dresser must be. You, you took the front thing off of the fan, too. I guess you don't want any any obstruction between you and the, the, the hot, juicy fan wind. And what is this back here? Is this like a window into another weird little room of trash? What is this? It's like a window and then there's like an Amazon parcel in it or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, scummy. It's pretty, pretty scummy, uh, you know? And if this is one that somebody sent in, like a viewer was just like, Oh, my room would be perfect for this. I really, you know, I really hope people, I really hope most of these aren't people's actually actual rooms that watch me. I, cause I don't know if the, if it was clear to people that like, I don't know if it was clear to people that like, this is not, hey, submit your disgusting room. I mean, I guess it can be. It's fine if you do that. It's just that, you know, I feel like that's revealing to people that you live like this, you know, bitch, damn bitch, you live like this. And and I don't know if any of us needed to know that, necessarily, that you live in that way. Um, but, you know, uh, thank you for submitting. Uh, I will be calling the police for a wellness check to your house uh, ASAP. Let me, uh, let me see here. Close that one. Um, okay, we got this. And, yeah, we've got more miniatures. I mean, I don't know why this was submitted. Again, this is like... This is like just some guy's miniature workstation, really. I mean, anybody who's going to be building Gundams or, like, Warhammers or whatever the fuck is uh, probably going to have a fairly cluttered desk with a lot of little shelves and runners and stuff and paint and things like that. So, you know, I don't uh, don't think that's necessarily too terrible. Uh, by the way, shoutouts, uh, I mentioned earlier, but shoutouts again to Gabe, who uh, I don't know if Gabe is, is in the chat right now, but, but he put together this whole thing. Uh, he, he took the missions from people and I'm I'm very happy with what he put he's put together I've I've been enjoying my first uh, reaction to a lot of these because 
Because, you know, I, I was like, well, I guess I can put together some scummy rooms, but the, having them put together, you know, having them put together by someone else so that I can enjoy them all for the first time with you guys, that's, you know, that's special. Um, where is the picture here? It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Well, that's that guy again. That's the... Uh, that's This is a picture of the... Uh, the guy with the room that hasn't been cleaned since 2005. I think we might watch that video, but, uh, but this picture, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, yeah, well, hmm. This is a very concerning room, chat. This, uh, this room, uh, you know, just, uh, just a little bit concerning. I don't know. Um... You know, we've seen these, like, shrine rooms, the one dedicated to Lola and whatnot, but I think dedicating one to the little girl from Lazy Town is, you know, there's something about that that's maybe a little bit extra. You can see he's a guitar guy, he's got a guitar book, and he's got a good, uh, what appears to be a Lazy Town Stephanie guitar, uh, also. Um, I mean, I don't know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to discern anything else from this guy's- about this guy's personality. Uh, oh god, yeah, he's got the girl, like, posing and everything. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to discern anything else about this guy from, like, this bookshelf. I can't make out most of these titles, though. I can see the guitar book, and then everything else I just can't- I can't tell- I guess it doesn't matter. When, the, when your room looks like this, it really doesn't matter how many Wizard of Oz coffee table books you have, you know. Or didgeridoo throw pillows. Uh, yeah, he's even sealed off the fireplace. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. That is a, that is another biohazard one. Biohazardous and contagious. Uh, 92B.jpg. What's the... Okay. Well, this one... This one is one where somebody was playing SimCity and they decided to, like, raise the terrain a little bit too much in one spot. And, uh, it's, there's just now just a really unnatural hill. I mean, this is a, this is a boob, really. This is a ceiling boob. I think that's actually the, the, the literal term for it, too, because I remember back in, uh... Tony Hawk's Underground or whatever, the, uh, the Create a Park mode, they used to have these basically this thing, but it would be, you know, the other way around, and it would be for skating tricks, and it, they would be called boobs. So, yeah, uh, this is a ceiling boob. And, I mean, I don't know what is happening here. I don't know why this man's house is growing a tumor, necessarily. Um, but, you know, I can appreciate... I can appreciate the fact that this is, like... Well, I would assume that what this is is probably some kind of water leakage or something, some kind of storm might have happened and maybe they took this image before the fucking ceiling collapsed or something but uh i don't know maybe you just live like this and i do love the fact that there's just all these like coke cans here too which i can't really complain about too much i have had you know a number of cans sitting on my table before i, I can't can't shit on it too much and on its own i wouldn't but combined with the ceiling boob you know the big old titty uh, I don't know, that's adding to it. That's just adding to it, you know? And you've got this, it's the whole composition of it, too. It's all grainy and sad. It looks like this was filmed in the fucking 70s, and yet there's, like, a flat-screen computer here. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Um, let's see here. What do we got next? We're almost through with the images. We will be, we will be doing videos next. Uh, this is, uh, well, there's this one. Which, this is one of the few that I saw before we started, before I did the stream. This is, uh... <laughs> this is some, some boys enjoying their Magic the Gathering cards, uh, just before one of the ceiling fan blades, uh, falls off, and... I'm assuming it's not going to decapitate anybody or anything like that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, this is one of those perfect images where they really caught it at the exact moment in time where all the cards were flown up in the air, and... And the ceiling fan blade was coming down for some reason. I don't know why they have all of these magic cards. Or is that magic? It might be Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not sure. But I don't know why they have all of these cards. And what that... Uh, I mean, did they win a tournament or something? Did any of these men wash their ass? 
before they took this image, by the way, before they took this picture. I also really like the, um, the cushions here on these little wicker chairs. They were, they're like weird, like oil slick on concrete pattern, like shiny pink rainbow color that looks like some kind of lizard skin. What the fuck is this cushion? Jesus Christ. Uh, again, just the wonderful image composition and how, like, 2002 this image looks. Uh, you know, everything about it. It looks like the- it looks like the set from, like, a bad slasher movie where a bunch of people would get murdered. You know? It's just like a scummy little house that- in Florida or something. They filmed it on Mardi Gras, some shit. I don't know. But yeah, uh, very good picture. Very good picture. Let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, we got this one. Have I seen this one? No. Well, this one's interesting. This one's very interesting. This man appears to have converted his um, bathroom into a half bathroom. And by doing, doing so, he took out the bathtub that uh, was in there. And he appears to have replaced it with a spooky skeleton bench. Ah! Um, yeah, there's, I mean, this is actually very nicely decorated. I, we, I have to say, this is not scummy at all. Well, there's like this mildew here or whatever, and this, is this a, oh wait, this is a carpeted bathroom. What the fuck? Why is this area so nice? This is all like color coordinated straight out of, you just bought all of this shit from Winners. Or is that, is that the one? It's not Winners, it's, uh, it's like HomeSense. You just bought all this shit from HomeSense. And it's all nicely, like, fall colors. There's the Harvest Skeleton Farmer with the banjo. He was just watching some aliens on the Phalanx box art for the SNES. And, and now he's here, and you could have had a beautiful little bathroom if this wasn't a carpeted bathroom. What the fuck is that? Carpeted bath- Did you think that that was good? Did you think you were- Did they add the carpet? Like that that'll improve it. Let's add carpet to this place where I piss and shit. Let's let's add that here. That'll be better. That'll make the room look good. No, it does not. No, this area of the image looks nice. I like this. This is this is nice. And then this whole other composition, the whole other part of this image is just terrible. P carpeted bathroom. To Jesus Lord. You know, if they took the toilet out and left the bathtub then hey, at least you walk on the carpet, it's just like a big bath mat, basically. That's not too bad. But you leave the toilet where you're gonna be presumably standing to piss and like vomited and and, and who knows what else. Dumping like a week old pea soup into the toilet or something. Like who knows what kind of splashback is happening on that carpet. And I mean, how, how often are you cleaning that carp? I don't know, anyways, anyways. Good, good God. You, you had something there with the skeleton. You had something and then you ruined it. You just ruined it with the carpet. Uh, so there's this image. What do we got here? Well, this is, a, this is one of these ones that's just kind of your classic, your, your classic ugly room. Nothing too special. Classic ugly battle station, I should say. 4chan battle station because we got like a fucking... Is that the... Is that like Sting from fucking... Uh... Uh, which one was Sting? I think, I think, uh, Lord of the Rings had Sting, and that's not it, but what was the fucking sword that the Witcher has, Geralt? Doesn't he have a sword called Sting or something? It looks like the Witcher's sword. Or maybe it's like a Game of Thrones sword, I don't know, but it's got its, like, scabbard here, too. And, I mean, I just don't, I just don't understand, I mean, obviously this was an image that's like, hey guys, rate my setup, and it's obviously, like, a joke, but... You know, you got this big cool sword, you can't just like clean your desk a little. Don't you understand that you could have that sword hanging over your desk that is a clean desk? And you you could have a room that looks decent, you know? You could have a room that looks decent, people would come in, they'd go, look at the sword and the wall, that's cool, and the room is so clean and, and well kept too. But now it's just like, wow, you are a disgusting motherfucker. And I guess also you decided to buy a sword at one point. I don't know. It's not adding anything to the beauty of the image, is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, the chair is also ripped to shit. But I mean, again, I can I can sympathize with that. I suppose I do like that we have this one little square square foot of space on the desk here, where he's presumably like this whole area is a wasteland. There are probably 
thousands of fucking colonies of weird germs living in here, but over here, he's got space for a number mo of, of bottles, uh, plenty more bottles, uh, and, and trash, and cans, and, and glasses, and headphones, and all that, it can all go over here. So he doesn't even need to clean, clean yet, technically. This is one of those practicalists who's like, well, I don't need to clean up, I've still got room to put things on my desk. Like, that's not the reason, but... You know, I guess that's fair. Technically, you're right. You don't you don't need to technically, uh, you you know. But but my question is, once the desk is totally full, is he just gonna start putting shit on the floor instead? Because I mean, I've got a bottle of booze just sitting on the floor now because I don't have a place for it on my on my side table. So so you don't want to get to a point where you're as bad as me, guy. Come on. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> what do we got? Well, we got a. Oh no. I uh, thought I saw a super chat from Gabe who put together the, the thing, but it was from somebody else. Thank you. I will read all those at the end as usual, but uh, let me... We're almost done with the pictures here. We're going to get into the the, the cool uh, videos soon. Uh, and this... Well, this is one... Another one where it's like, we charitably, we hope this is a kid's room. We, we, we hope and pray that this is a room that a child lives in. Um, because, I mean, we've just got all this, like, is this Lego? Is this Lego? It's some kind of Lego-esque toy or something that he's building, like, what appears to be that, like, rug that every kid had of the city map with the with the streets. He's, he seems to be building something like that. I don't know if this is, like, his project. He's, like, building this, like, Lego model town or something. And, I mean, it's coming together. He's got his walls and stuff here, so he seems to be putting some kind of project together, but, I mean, more notably than that, really, I mean, it's fine if you've got a little mess, maybe you're building your Lego thing, that's, that's fair, but, why, you know, I don't know, why, why couldn't you get a desk for your monitor, you know? I mean, you even have a desk, it's over here. Why couldn't you get somewhere else for all that shit there, and put your, your monitor and your computer over here on the desk, you know? Like, that seems... Better, uh, but, I mean, we don't even know where this keyboard is here. Damn, I can't e there's like, there's, oh, the, the mouse is there. I'm assuming the keyboard is hidden under this, like, grid of whatever place he's gonna go infiltrate tonight on his operation. But, you know, we've also got, like, a clock radio, and then I don't know what this is. This looks like a, maybe like a dog food bowl? Oh, wait, there's, like, a little laptop corner here. I guess maybe that's his computer. I think that might be... A, it might be a laptop with key, with uh, mouse and separate monitor kind of situation. Uh, that might be it. But, but yeah, this looks like a dog food bowl. There is no uh, fork or spoon. So I would assume that... I mean, whatever this is, is either being eaten by a dog or he's just eating it straight out of the thing. It kind of looks like Kraft Dinner or something. Or no, maybe that's more Legos. I don't know. That might just be more Legos. I can't really tell. I mean, craft, craft mac and cheese is basically plastic anyway, so, uh, you know, you could probably build a house out of that. But, yeah, I mean, I do like how organized a lot of the shelf here is and, like, this, you know, but then this whole room is just, just a fucking, just a, just a heap, really. I mean, and not even the Imogen kind. I don't know why I said that. Um... We, we're down to the final two images here, and uh, uh, well, this one's a duplicate. This is this this is the room with all the old Milwaukee boxes again. So okay, we're down to the final image, which is uh, this one, the the thumbnail of the stream. And I don't know, chat, is this real? Uh, because this is apparently uh, Tom from MySpace. Uh, is this really him? Is this that's photoshopped in, right? I mean, that has to be. There's no way Tom from MySpace lived in this location. Uh, I mean, I think that, isn't that like the famous image of Tom too? Like the MySpace profile? I, I would assume this is like photoshopped in. It looks a little photoshopped. But like, maybe, maybe he did just live in a place like this while he was putting together MySpace. I don't know. Probably not, because it looks like the monitor was photoshopped to have him on it too. Like his MySpace profile. I wonder what Tom from MySpace is up to nowadays. I don't know. Uh, he looks so happy. It's the guy. That room is disgusting. Humble start. It was. The original background was a chalkboard. Okay, yeah. So this is not... This is a real image of some guy's fucking room, but he... Somebody has... photo For whatever reason, has photoshopped MySpace Tom on here. 
Uh, I like this destroyed chair or two. And then this destroyed chair. I guess that's like the footrest. Of course, we got the piss jugs. Uh, of course. You can't, can't leave a home without them. Uh, you know, scummy, scummy mattress on the floor. Uh, real, real setup here. Uh, real, real setup. Again, we've got this, like, living in a basement. You know, when I hear about somebody, like, living in a basement, I usually picture it as a, as a finished basement, you know? With, like like walls and stuff and like a, probably like a kitchen or something and rooms and not just like yeah i sleep over here and around that corner is the is the fucking laundry machines and the miracle grow like you know um but i guess that's what a lot of people you know doing like battle station threads a lot of them just lived in places like that i guess I, I, distressing number of people on 4chan apparently were able to if they didn't live in a room like that they sure had access to one at least if that was just like a joke that they you know I don't know but I, the easier solution is they just lived like that but yeah that is the image section of the stream hey thanks for watching all the way to the end for the second half of this stream uh, where we look at some scummy room videos uh, that will be uh, part two coming up sometime soon but uh thanks for watching this one i hope you enjoy there's gonna be more stuff like this in the future i think we got uh we got something cooking we got something cooking big thanks as usual to my 20 dollar and up patreon friends brent thornton zach carter stilk meek rob of the east andy blackout drums grand admiral urine fetus vince bear holly hentai soup allison parker ben smith a cat drugs bunny and my top boys, Xylax, Jura Lumen, and Tunnel God. Thank you all very, very much. And uh, thank you to the top boys who uh, requested some things that I looked at on stream recently. And uh, that they turned out pretty well, I would say. Uh, you might see videos of those coming up soon. Uh, it's been a little bit since I did a video, but I wanted to come back with, uh, come back with a force, you know? My force, you're doubting. Uh, and, uh, I've, I've got a new Patreon video in the works as well, something that's a little too, uh, racy for YouTube. I've said it before, but, uh, that is the next thing that I'm working on. Uh, so if you would like to see that, uh, you can join the Patreon for as little as two bucks a month and, uh, show up in the end credits here or in the description or something and, uh, get a little, get a little something new. I'm gonna try to do one, uh, Patreon video a month or something close to that. I don't, don't hold me to that because I'm... I admit I'm lazy. I mean, that's just an element of it. Honestly, I can't. I can't lie about that. I am lazy, uh, so <laughs> I'll try. But uh, you know, I just got into near, so you know, you can imagine I've got like 47 endings of each one of those games to to, to get to. So I've got I've got a I got a full plate currently. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, there's more stuff coming, and uh, take it easy, penis.